slightly better than Jordan's test, but the same type of character, of course, a big mover, a beautiful horse. And for the little bobbles here and there, there are movements along the test that should pull that score uh, right back up or well down. A provisional, provisional score in for uh, Revitavet Capato, Jordan Lindstead, number 172, 70% uh, wow. from Nick Burton at C. Jane Hamlin, 67.3%, gives them a penalty score of 31.4, which would be uh, just over 47 right. in old uh, terms. But right. that is uh, a very competitive score for Jordan in the first phase, 31.4. Takes a very early lead, but of course, a long way to go. Well, next to come forward is another combination. What a treat we have here in the early stages because it is Liz Halliday Sharp. Liz comes forward with her longtime partner, Fern Hill uh, by night, owned by uh, Deborah Halliday. And this is a horse that is a real three-star specialist. 15 years of age, came sixth in the Event Rider Masters Series finale at Blenheim last September. Went to a Carla and uh, had a really unlucky 20 penalties out on course, but that was an absolutely sensational dressage test on that occasion. And if she can repeat that here, she is going to be one that is going to be right up there after the dressage. She scored 34 in terms of the FBI scoring at the time. If she could repeat that today, that would be a score of around 22.6. Absolutely. And watching this horse go around the arena, unlike the first three that we've seen, you see no tension. <laughs> She's <laughs> walking around the outside of the arena. I must admit, I was talking to Liz last night, and this horse sounds a real character because he's so easy at home that she was uh, really quite excited by the fact it might be a bit cautious. Oh, yeah. He might be on his toes. <laughs> yeah. and, uh, uh, because he, she wants a bit of oomph a little and bit excitement of, uh, in mm -hmm. him. Absolutely. Which is great. You know, it's a great feeling to feel like when you go into the arena on your worst day, they're going to be settled, calm and relaxed. And on your best day, they're going to have a little up to them. So we uh, are hoping to see a mistake free test here, which we've yet to see. Would it be fair to say that a mistake free test in the dressage is almost like a clear round in the jumping? Yeah, yeah, I, I would say definitely. I mean, uh, certainly at the greener level you go in with that or with the greener horse you go in with that expectation and then you slowly start to uh, add a little flair, you know. <laughs> so, so far this is looking really flawless. And you can see it just looks very laterally supple, very easy to move across the arena there. And very happy. I mean, the horse, that's what we're looking for. The horse looks very happy. And Liz is such a stylish rider. Absolutely. Isn't she? Mm -hmm. And she's got, um, well, she has James Burtwell over here constantly throughout the winter. We're all fortunate enough to take advantage of his lessons. And so he's, I'm sure, there watching. And it drove up the eight hours, and we all blamed him for the weather yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> um, that was me thinking I bought it from England. <laughs> there were a few <laughs> British accents around the place we were cursing. When we talk about making dressage look easy and rideable, there's a lot going on, but actually Liz doesn't make it look difficult, no. does she? No, and, and it starts with this horse has quite a relaxed way of going. He's got a beautiful natural rhythm. Um, and so it's pleasant. She can ease from movement to movement without kind of feeling like she has to over prepare, over set up. And the horse is a 15 year old. We had spoken earlier. The first horse we saw was eight. Um, so this horse has been going the level for several years and should understand. Seven years yeah. more experience, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. When you put it in those terms, that's almost half of the life again. Absolutely. And Absolutely. life experience goes a long way. Totally. Totally. And, and it's fun with Liz. I mean, she's really um, developed this horse. And what's great about the sport now is that there's enough outlets for horses to really excel at what they're wonderful at. And um, with the CIC and the ERMs and the Gold Cup Series here, this horse can really excel in his three-star competitions in his older age. So I don't believe she's aiming this horse towards a four-star. I think she'll carry on competing at these types of competitions and really enjoy them and push herself to be competitive and push the horse to be competitive. And um, she's not here, one would say, for the beer, right? She's no, here to go fast, no. <laughs> she's here to win. <laughs> I think she could be a real dark horse this weekend. Well, not so much a dark horse, because yeah. she would be one of the pre-event favorites. She'd be favorite. expectation, yeah. And not only Fernhill by night, we've still got De Niro Z to Absolutely. come later on today. And that is definitely a test that you'll want to watch. So uh, just before 10 past two, De Niro Z, the second of Liz's rides, will be coming forward in the arena. And I would say this test so far has just been flawless. 
I mean, the canter work has been beautiful. They look, and they look completely simultaneous. You don't want to see the rider giving the horse aids or cues. You don't want to see her asking for the change, which you didn't. Um, they really want to work as a partnership. They want to work as one. They want to have subtle communication. And this has been beautiful so far. I don't see how they're going to put her on anything. Now, how difficult would it be? Because <coughs> we've obviously only had three horses to go. Mm -hmm. Would the judges be a little bit reserved on their 8.5 8 paddles? Or do you think they would <coughs> be going, no, do you know what this deserves? It? Let's <laughs> press them. I think if she was first in, they might be a little reserved. I think right now they're probably very eager to see a great test. And I think they're probably getting excited right now. So I would hope at this point they would be quite um, honest with what they're seeing. And that is always the constant, you know, you don't want to go first thing on a, on a Thursday morning because you feel like maybe you need to run over and give the judges some coffee with Baileys or something <laughs> <laughs> to get them feeling good. To be fair though, we are in exceptionally safe hands because both Nick Burton and Jane Hamlin, yeah. hugely experienced. Yeah. And I must say, I don't envy the judges' jobs because it's not always straightforward, Absolutely. Is it? Um, and she's given them absolutely nothing to take away. Take away. No. This is a clear it's round in the Yeah, absolutely. Dodge. Yeah. Well, what yeah. a test. Liz Halliday-Sharp, Fernhill by night. Safe to say, Sinead, they're going to be into the lead? Uh, 100%. 100%. <laughs> there we yeah. go. You heard it here first. Yeah. We'll bring 100%. you their provisional score as soon as it comes through, but a really impressive test from this combination. And one to certainly keep an eye on in the jumping phases. Liz Halliday-Sharp, Fernhill by night. They've got exceptional form at three starts, including that uh, top six finish in the Event Rider Masters Series finale, which was a red-hot field at Blenheim last September and I think this is going to be a combination we're going to be watching very closely throughout the next couple of days. So we're three combinations that have completed with their scores in and we're just waiting for Liz Halliday Sharp's score to come forward as well. But both Sinead Halpin and myself I think pretty unanimous in and comfortable that she will be